lovely, lovely imps. As many of you know, about a week ago, we decided to hike Drama Mountain. And boy, was it a hike. It was one of the longest streams that I've done in a long time, digging in to the Illuminati drama. Um, for those who are not caught up to date, I'm just going to do a quick summary of what happened. You should go watch my video. Just search Drama Mama Illuminati and you will find my video. Very easy. Um, it's actually two parts because it was very, very long. Um, but I'm going to do a quick summary for your, uh, uh, for, for your, for your, for your benefit. Um, Illuminati is a, a content creator who's been around on YouTube for a long time. Uh, at the time of making the, the, the original video, she had somewhere in the ballpark of 1.6 million followers. She has indeed lost a lot of followers on YouTube since that point. Um, Illuminati tends to cover uh, uh, corporate abuse, tends to cover uh, multi-level marketing schemes, and sometimes even dives into cults. So a lot of Illuminati's content is centered around sort of exposing and debunking abusive behavior from corporations. However, Illuminati has recently herself been engaged in some heavily, heavily questionable and outright disgusting behavior. Um, and we covered it all. We went through all of it um, in my long drama mama. But there's actually more. So we are going to be revisiting Drama Mountain today. And we're going to be taking a slightly different path than we did last time. Thankfully, much shorter. We're going to be going through the swamps of pre-cooked HR statements and half-assed uh, non-apologies. And that's, that's the name of the place that we're going through, okay? Today is going to be us going through... Uh, Illuminati's latest statement and also the statement of her her current group podcast which is known as the leftist mafia um oh no has there been something more okay no that's the thread that we're going to be talking about already um and uh uh on our last hike we went through the fact that she accused um, she falsely accused her former collaborators, um, on a podcast pro or on a, on a YouTube channel slash podcasting project, um, completely invented a narrative, utilized, uh, sock puppet fake accounts to, to push forward a completely falsified narrative, um, lied about events going so far as to accuse one of her former, uh, colleagues of being a pedophile defender and like they she accused him of making a space where pedophilia could thrive uh on a completely manufactured narrative and she was proven that she manufactured this narrative um and it was also proven that she was spreading it to all kinds of other people and why did she do this well she did this because this person decided to leave the project that she was working on and making money from so basically for revenge for disobedience um it was then also revealed that she uh uh used financial contracts um and her massive advance her massive financial standing over a young um sm significantly smaller youtuber i'm talking he was 19 at the time that all of this happened uh, she roped him into a bunch of contracts, which put him in a position where she controlled nearly every aspect of his life. She controlled his car, she controlled his housing, she controlled his employment, and she actually utilized the contracts that she convinced him to sign into uh, to uh, take back, to take the car that, that was his, but was not really his because it was on a contract, uh, which also contained all of his stuff that he needed to make a living. So she basically destroyed this young YouTuber um, um, because she wanted to control him. She wanted to have somebody under her control. Um, so that was that's the basic summary of what happened. Now, we go through this meticulously in the previous Drama Mama video. So if you want to see all of the receipts and why I've come to that conclusion... Uh, I strongly encourage you to go watch that video. It is a long hike, but I assure you it's very interesting. 
Um, there's been a, there's a reason why I decided to talk about this specific drama and also why I'm still following up on it now. Um, when I get involved in commenting on a drama, I always try to make sure that I have the timeline, the receipts, um, all in a row, and I always tr do my absolute best to reserve judgment until we've seen all of the evidence. And, uh, what I'm telling you now is a summary for the benefit of people, um, who, you know, maybe watched this a week ago and don't have it fresh in their minds. Please don't just take my word for it. Go watch my video where we lay out all of the receipts if you want to, to know really in full detail what happened. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is uh, looking at some of the responses that, is, that have happened since, um, uh, since the, the last video that I did. Um, this drama has turned out to be one of the most messed up, twisted, uh, horrible dramas that I've ever uh, looked into. Um, I'm really, really, really disappointed with um, some of the responses that I've seen. Um, and I'm especially concerned about the types of responses I've seen from Illuminati herself, which we're going to see a little more. Somniostatic says, did you see Sunday listening to the Lance thing? I did catch some of that. Yes, I did. I did catch some of that. Yep. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, so... P Pinocus says it was not really a podcast. It's more like they did they did what the click and one topic still do now, but they did it all together. I mean, I consider that a podcast. When when a bunch of content creators get together to make a show together, and they're all like sort of bouncing off each other and laughing at stuff. To me, that that seems like a podcast. Uh, obviously, the definition of podcast has changed a little bit over the years. Um, YouTube files my vods as a podcast now, so I don't know. You know maybe maybe you don't define that as a podcast i think it i think it they called it a podcast yeah see i thought they called it a pod, podcast too whatever it doesn't really matter um so uh people are gonna talk people are talking now about leftist mafia let me give you a, a a quick briefing on what leftist mafia is which is a name you're gonna hear a lot today leftist mafia is a podcast uh, that started um, fairly recently. I, I believe it was within the last uh, two years or so. Um, and Leftist Mafia is a group of friends who are all vaguely on the political left, and they talk about all kinds of issues. They 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 uh, react to takes on, on the internet that people put out. They react to videos. They talk together, and they hang out. It's generally a pretty chill vibe. It's not super, super, super serious, although they do tend to talk about some pretty serious political issues. Um, and uh, Illuminati has been a member of the Leftist Mafia podcast for a long time. Now, uh, a lot of people noticed that once the drama started, uh, that uh, Illuminati, a.k.a. Blair... You're going to just so for people who are new to this, those, those are the names you're going to hear. Illuminati is also known as Blair. That's the name she goes by. Um, Illuminati had stopped appearing on Leftist Mafia once this drama started. Um, and a lot of people had questions about that. Now, a couple of things happened. Um, various members of the Leftist Mafia independently responded to the Illuminati situation. Um, and the podcast itself... Uh, live on their show did address it at one point. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little more in depth because they've now f formally, officially addressed the situation together as a podcast, which we are going to be reacting to and watching in just a little bit. Um, but that's it's actually not the first time they've talked about it. Um, it was a pretty big deal. Uh, their accord, even by their own admission, their fan base was very worked up, and I completely understand why this situation has touched a nerve with a lot of people, especially people who uh, who went to, who looked to Blair, uh, aka Illuminati, for a honest and uh, you know for for an honest source on the behaviors of, of problematic companies and abusive mar multi-level marketing schemes. Um, in my last video, I mentioned that it, that was going to be a big problem that Illuminati was going to have to deal with. And I think that has shown to be very true. That the fact that she has a reputation for being sort for sort of doing exposés on abusive behavior is going to make this situation, make the scrutiny on her very high. 
And in my opinion, that's completely reasonable. If you cultivate an a a audience of if you if you make content where truth is of incredible importance and it is exposed that you engaged in an incredible amount of dishonest behavior specifically to self enrich specifically to increase your own power over others it totally makes sense that people are going to begin to doubt your intentions and be able to doubt your word on future um subjects it's it's very bad it, yeah and it does exactly xander turon says it brings into question the integrity of her previous content it significantly does and in fact you could argue i would even argue that um it does damage because i used to enjoy a lot of of her older videos i've seen a lot of her uh anti-multi-level marketing videos but anybody who's any of her videos that hit really hard now that she's had this this absolutely horrible situation which she responded to very poorly so far um um that means that all of these groups that she's exposed have ammunition to basically say look our critics are full of shit you can join our cultish bullshit you can yeah come on we're not gonna abuse you look she was an abuser you you can't trust her it's terrible it's fucking terrible And of course, a lot of people have been talking about the, um, a lot of people have been talking about the great irony of somebody, uh, claiming to be a leftist while engaging in small business tyranny, the likes of which we haven't seen in this space in a very long time. Um, and I do think that people are also right to point that out as well. I do think it's very odd uh, to, to sort of make being a leftist part of your identity um, and then only to just like find a young person to bind into a bunch of financial contracts that enrich you. Um, and, and of course, uh, she, it, it has now been revealed that she was planning on using that young YouTuber as a ideal first tenant so that she could become a landlord, so that she could own properties and rent them to other people. Which, again, extremely ironic for somebody uh, who's, who's made being a leftist a large part of their identity. Being as landlordism is uh, one of the heaviest, one of the most critiqued things by leftists for obvious reasons. Um, as it turns out, um, the name landlord, well, you know, it comes from monarchical times. From when there was a lord on the land that you... Uh, had to swear fealty to or else they would you know ruin your life and as it turns out that has still carried for you forward that there are people who can literally own the place that you live that you just you just exist there by their permission and have to pay money to them every month no matter what they do whether they neglect or upkeep uh, uh, the property it doesn't matter because it's not yours you'll never own it no matter what um, yeah so Landlord, landlording and rent seeking. Anyway, there's a lot. There was a lot there to download, and uh, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that I always open these up by making sure that we have all of our information in a line. We got all of our ducks in a row before we start getting into the actual content. So, let's respond in order of operations here. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the link here. We are going to first react to the leftist mafia. Now, real quick, just so we have a quick timeline, uh, uh, Illuminati, the, the, the incident that sparked off this drama was Illuminati falsely accusing another large YouTuber of plagiarism. This backfired, and about a week later, she ended up issuing an apology after the backlash was very severe because, of course, she didn't have the evidence to prove plagiarism, but plagiarism is a career-ruining allegation. It's a very severe allegation, and she fired, out off, fired from the hip very carelessly. During that time, between the time of her accusing plagiarism and re retracting the plagiarism claims, uh, a couple of her former colleagues came out to both speak in support of the person that she was accusing of falsely accusing of plagiarism and also to make their own stories heard. This led to the publishing of a series of Twitter threads that contained a whole bunch of information. To those Twitter threads, uh, uh, Illuminati made 
a response video that was known as Illuminati Exposed. Now, this video was a garbage fire okay it was very bad it was a it was a it was framed as an apology video it was not an apology video and in the video she made a series of heinous further accusations against her former colleagues that she used to work on a project um on a podcast project with um and in the response to this video two of the content creators she alleged uh major allegations against ended up making response videos um now, those videos have been out for a while. A lot of people have watched those videos and have come to the conclusion, rightfully, that um, Illuminati was not being honest and that Illuminati told a bunch of lies in the process of her video. Um, in fact, one of the videos by a creator by the name of The Click contained irre essentially irrefutable proof. The only thing, the only thing that could, like, debunk his video is if everything inside was literally faked. And it does not seem to be the case because a number of other people who were involved in the creation of his video uh, came forward to say, yes, I swear by these records, these records are correct. So there's, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Illuminati lied. And that brings us to now. Now we have the response from her current podcast known as The Leftist Mafia, which we are going to jump into and watch together right now. So without any further delay, let's hear what the leftist mafia has to say about their former co-host, Blair. Like, 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 up yours, up yours. We'll see who cancels who. who. People uh, have been asking us more and more about the uh, uh, no, one of the co-hosts of Leftist Mafia. Uh, Illa Divine says, hey, yes, Illuminati tweeted about this today. Yes, we will be getting to that afterwards. I'm trying to keep everything in order of occurrence so that we have a clear timeline so that things don't get confused. We're going to react to this first, and then we're going to react to that. And, um, you know, because there's been a lot of... Uh, first, there were the videos calling it drama and all sorts of things, and then there were videos that came out and explained the uh, more egregious allegations in detail. Uh, and so we, we came together and uh, basically the leftist mafia decided uh, that one of our members was going to get a promotion uh, like this. Uh, <laughs> if you guys remember this scene from, from Goodfellas. Uh, <laughs> no, basically we had to uh, uh, decide. That's a scene where they kill somebody. Whether uh, one specific member, Blair, a.k.a. Illuminati, was going to stay with the uh, show after these videos came out. And, you know, people have been asking us about it for weeks. And at first, I think we thought, at least this is my from my perspective, I thought it was just YouTube drama. And those first videos were titled as such. And then more videos came out and more videos came out and gave us a much larger you know, sort of uh, view of what was really going on. And, you know, it, it was mixed in with some of that, like, YouTube drama stuff that we just assumed it all was at first. But it wasn't all that. Some of those, uh, some of the issues were, were very serious. And so, okay, real quick, I have something I need to say right away, which is this is a, there's a certain amount of truth. Uh, there's a certain amount of t overall truth to what Matt Bender is saying here. Um, YouTube drama has this problem of, of losing credibility the moment that it's called drama because people assume that it's like stupid catty nonsense, okay? Um, and there is a whole lot of garbage YouTube drama that doesn't mean anything and that has no impact whatsoever on anything that's just some he said, she said nonsense. That is a very real thing, okay? Um, however... They already responded to this before, and some of the members of the leftist mafia admitted that they had indeed seen what the contents of the drama was. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was Mike uh, Figueredo, um, this guy right up here in the corner, 
who had admitted that he had seen some of the videos and he was actually trying to tell the other members of the podcast, actually, it's pretty serious. It's pretty bad, guys. Um, I thought about watching their first response on this stream. However... I'm actually going to just do my best to try and keep it to this response since this is their official response. I must, I, I still think it's important though sometimes to point out that some of their members were trying to talk to other members and say, hey, actually, this is pretty serious. Also, um, their audience told them this. Their whole audience. They admitted in their previous video and in this video that their audience was begging them to look deeper into it. And I'm going to be completely honest. It seemed like they were very willing to sort of shrug that off. But let's watch the rest of the video. I think we, you know, in our, we had a meeting, which is actually the first time we met when we weren't doing a show, just to let you all know how serious we took this. And um, oh, you know, I think no, that's on Saturday. On Saturday, mm -hmm. I, yeah, it was yeah, it was Saturday. Yeah. Also, and... I should be clear. I actually quite like every single person involved in this show. I have met Lance in real life. I really like Lance. Um, Mike Figueredo. I've been on a show with Mike Figueredo before. I've always really liked Mike. I think he's really cool. Um, I don't know David Dole that well, but everything that I've seen of his has been good. Matt Bender, I've watched Matt Bender's content for a really long time and a big fan of him. We just, uh, we just covered Olay's stuff, um, and I'm a, I really like Olay's videos. I've obviously, she only just started making videos on YouTube, but her videos are really good. So I just want to be clear, like, I don't have anything personal against any of these people here, and I actually quite like almost all of their work. The only person I haven't really, I'm not super familiar with is David Dole. I, I, I know a little bit of his stuff and I've seen a, a handful of his, his videos on YouTube or on uh, Twitter, I think. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make that clear because there, I, I have some critiques that I have to levy against these people and I want people to understand that I actually quite like them a lot. Anyway, let's go. And, you know, um, I think we decided that the combination of how serious some of these allegations were combined with the fact that, unfortunately, Illuminati was not addressing the more serious allegations. Uh, and, and also, you know, she had mentioned that if it became too much, she would have stepped away on her own. But we decided that. Yeah, it, 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 we, it, was, it was detracting from our work and what we do, and the, the allegations weren't good. And we can't, you know, we couldn't really uh, stand by without uh, any sort of uh, addressing of the situation on her end, but it just, it just wasn't happening in the weeks that we gave her the chance to do it. Um, so as of today, the leftist mafia is Mike Figueredo, David Dole, Ole, Lance, and me, Matt Binder. And that's it. The five of us. So uh, there you have it. They have officially parted ways with Illuminati. Um, now, that was, in my opinion, the only decision that they could have made here that wouldn't have d damaged their podcast. Um, not cutting ties with Illuminati after what was revealed specifically by the Clicks video um, would have been a, a genuinely insane decision that would have damaged their brand potentially permanently. Um, what, what, what the click revealed was, was that indeed Illuminati has a history and a pattern of completely falsifying serious allegations against other people to get a leg up on them. The clicks video made that almost incontrovertible. It is, it would be it would require a massive revelation to undermine the clicks video the clicks video was very simple very straightforward it was loaded with uh with receipts um numerous people who were not uh who were not uh targets of the drama but who had been involved in the drama by illuminati were brought forward um it was a absolute orbital bombardment of a video 
Um, and I don't think they really would have had any other option. However, I think it's good that they made the right decision because keeping Illuminati on after that would have would have not only been dangerous to their other members, but it would have completely destroyed the reputation of their podcast. Yep. Yep. They 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 they. I don't know what other decision they could have made. People are uh, a couple of people in chat have brought up. Do you think that she's going to go after the leftist mafia? I do believe that's a possibility, and I think it's an unfortunate possibility. Um, I don't believe there is a single person on this podcast who has as large of a platform as Illuminati, and that is something that we are going to have to keep in mind throughout this entire thing. Um, as far as I know, actually, we can we can do a quick. Let's do some quick. Let's do some quick homework here real quick. Let me just let me just bring up everybody's channels real quick. Okay. Hold on. Matt Bender YouTube Alurinati David Dole I don't know if, da oops, David Deal, David Dole. Rational National. Okay, so hold on a second. Let's just, real quick, we're going to go through these real quick. Welcome to oh, the God. Economy. No! No, everybody's, I accidentally clicked on their channels and everybody's channel things are playing. Oh my God, I'm sorry, my ears also got destroyed. I didn't know that everybody's fucking trailers were going to play automatically, okay? Hold on a second. Humanist Report has 402,000 subscribers. Matt Bender has 30,000 subscribers. Olurinati has 17,000 subscribers. Rational National has 500,000 subscribers. And Lance from the Surfs. Wait, uh, I don't, I think there, I think there's the, the Surfs TV. I'm sorry about everybody's. And the Surfs has, wait, don't they have another channel? Oh, it's just the Surf Times. Has 66,000 subscribers. So altogether, let's see, 900,000, about 1 million. Combined, all of the other hosts combined do not have as many subscribers as Illuminati does, okay? Yeah, so they're just they're somewhere around 900 950,000 subscribers altogether and even after this drama uh Illuminati has 1.5 million subscribers. Oh, did I just miss the Surf's TV? Was I that was I just not seeing it? I yeah, I thought the original Surf's channel got banned for some bullshit. So anyway, the point that I'm trying to say here is um, one, yes, there is a risk that she does damage to these people. She has a much larger platform than the leftist mafia combined. Um, and, uh, two, there is a very distinct incentive here that needs to be discussed. You cannot discuss this situation without acknowledging the fact that Illuminati was bringing an unbelievably large audience to the Leftist Mafia podcast, okay? Sub count is irrelevant. Look at her viewer counts. I don't think, I don't, I don't think, we, we can't, that, that would be so hard to do, okay? That would be very difficult to do. We can't cross-reference. We can only ballpark here. Regardless, there is a over 500,000 subscriber subscriber difference that is a very significant difference by no ifs ands or buts illuminati was the largest channel by far on the leftist mafia so keep that in mind the point is that she's very large she was bringing an enormous audience to the to the leftist mafia podcast um and that yes, it is possible that if she continues to double down, that she could indeed target all of these people. And we now know that she's done this in the past. Keep in mind that 
the people who she went really hard after have not done anything to her other than step away from the project that she wanted them to be involved with. The click didn't, we have no evidence that the click did anything against Illuminati except, uh, uh, except leave the project when she didn't want him to. And she took that as a personal slight and decided to destroy his career or attempt to destroy his career over that. Sirius says, I don't really buy the incentive argument that much. Leftist mafia is not the main thing anyone on the podcast does. And as far as I know, the only person who knew her before leftist mafia was Lance. I am sorry, but I just, I, I think that that is a, a little bit, no offense. I'm not trying to be rude to you, but I think that's a little bit naive. Um, if you're on a group project and somebody comes on board who has more followers than your entire podcast combined, and you're doing a podcast where your name is on the screen all the time, there is a massive incentive. Uh, that is a huge opportunity, even as a side project, for you personally to grow your channel. Because all of their subs might have fun watching that show and might decide to click your channel. Again, I just want... This is something that needs to be kept in mind because it's a real thing, okay? <sighs> Anyway, point is, I do think that there's a possibility that she targets them, and I hope that's not the case. It was wise for them to part ways now before their involvement with her could get different, could get deeper. Let's get back to the actual react. Um, we also decided that uh, b based on how the past f f a few weeks went, um, every month our audience will vote on which one of us gets kicked off the show next. <laughs> <laughs> and we will continue that until there's none of us left. Uh <laughs> just one sole survivor. Can I also just add to Highlander that rules. as well? Um, just on a more serious note, I do apologize to the audience for not taking this seriously. I just want you to understand from our perspective as public facing people, every single week, if not every day, we see a bunch of drama about each other, about, oh, did you know that Lance said this, David said this? And so instinctively, I, I yeah, I, I dismiss a lot of it because a lot of it is bad faith. So I do feel bad that I initially didn't look at the situation with severity. And sometimes not taking a position is taking a position. So I do feel bad that people felt like we were, I guess, inadvertently endorsing Blair's behavior here because I absolutely, and I want to be clear about this, I unequivocally denounce what she did, and I really feel bad for Wonder and the Click. I think that her behavior was manipulative, controlling, it was deceitful, and it was downright abusive. Um, it, it's something that you can't you can't do this to people and then just not respond. Like there needs to be accountability. Clean there needs to be room. an apology. And like I believe in restorative justice, but in my opinion, yeah. Blair has not even started to take those steps for restorative justice she has any I, like i genuinely Based. don't even know if she thinks that what she did is wrong yeah a lot of respect once again i i have said this many times i have a lot of respect for mike figueredo um he 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 is apologizing here for not taking it seriously enough but again by my recollection even in their non-official response he was the one who was taking it the most seriously and also Keep what he said in mind here for when we get to Blair's response from today, because I think he's right. I think he's 100% on point to say, you need to take responsibility for this. So keep that in mind, and we're going to find out together if that's what she decides to do. Let's continue. I think I see somebody in the chat said, objectively, this sucks. I would much rather have Blair explain herself and have a conversation with all of you instead of just dropping with no potential for change. This is why the left loses. Respectfully, that's that's ass. That's not that's not the case here. We've actually been incredibly to our own detriment. <laughs> Respectively, <received> that's ass. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we received an excessive amount of criticism because we gave a lot of grace in this situation. And we have given Blair ample opportunity. Delance says, what if she goes after me? Bring it. You, I have the lucky, the lucky value of already being hated, 
by <laughs> anyone on the internet that she could try and make mad at me, okay? I am the villain of the internet. I'm fucking Demon Mama, okay? Do you guys forget who you're watching? People already uh, have tried to trash my reputation. My reputation stands on its own because I already spent two years getting shit on by a bunch of larger creators making up bullshit about me. So as a result, my reputation stands on its own. It's very hard for people to try and pull reputation games with me any further now because people already know that a bunch of fucking assholes lied about me and that I also held myself very well during that time, that I stick to the receipts, that I'm a truthful person. I have a reputation for standing strong and for sticking by the truth. And I obviously recognize that. So I'm not super concerned. It did, the thought did cross my mind early on that this could become something that I'm targeted by. But at the end of the day, I've had gigantic content creator shoe on head fucking shit on me. I've had fucking destiny dump, dump crap on me, literally making up shit and writing manifestos about me. And it's not fucking, it's fucking water off my back. I'm still here. Did it hurt? Of course it did. I, it would be, it would be foolish for me to argue uh, that um, my channel didn't suffer as the result of people's giant channels spreading false information about me. However, that's already been done. That damage has already been done. And people now know that I have a reputation of continuing despite that shit. So... There's a number of reasons, but I don't want to get into that right now, build a dog. Anyway, let's continue. Opportunity to explain herself. Blair has a massive YouTube channel bigger than all of our channels. Even with the loss of subscribers, bigger than all of our channels, she is continuing to upload videos. She is choosing, for whatever her own reasons, not to address it, explain herself. And again, I made clear, and for that reason, I have seen my thumb, my face on several, several thumbnails slandering me because the last time we addressed it, because I said that I did speak to her, and obviously she did not share with me what the nature of this situation is because like i said when we, when we addressed it on the after show for those who've seen it i said i didn't know i didn't i did not watch the exposés because i was not somebody going to go out of my way i figure this is drama i that's what i thought we're always mm -hmm. like you know to it also it started way more minor too right but, it was like it was like but, but, yeah, accusations but, but, of like but, little but, things but, that escalated to bigger yeah, things no, that escalated to bigger right. things we should, yeah. we should make it we should make it clear that th those first videos like i listen i i really have a hard time watching videos like that based on youtube drama mm -hmm. and those first videos were that they were even titled as such like i'm not even like just a myself i'm like uh, describing it as that some of the videos I saw when people told me oh you got to watch this video it was like the Illuminati drama explained the controversy mm. around Illuminati like those sort of clickbait headlines don't do anyone uh, any uh, real justice or help if that's true that's true but everyone has to do that on YouTube Everyone has to do that. It is true that there's lots of stupid, distracting, pointless drama, that there are channels that directly farm drama. But even if you go right now to Lance's channel, he's going to have clickbait titles like that. Even if you go to Matt Binder's content, they're gonna have clickbait titles like that because that's what you have to do on YouTube that's the rules that YouTube makes. So it's not a very, it, 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 this isn't a very fair excuse for not looking into something when your audience is like, hey, this is really serious. I just, I, I understand where he's coming from. I'm not saying that he's doing something really, really super wrong here, but at the same time, clickbait isn't an excuse, like clickbait titles aren't an excuse for not looking into very serious allegations against somebody who's on your podcast with you. The actual, uh, you know, based on the headline too, but also a lot of the content was mixing in some of this basically like, you know, this creator doesn't like this creator and they have a beef over this sort of menial uh reason like when you mix those things 
into the real issues that were focused on weeks later, I, I think I, th I think you sort of muddy the water. Every and week. that's why I was so confused at first. And I think the rest of you felt that way, too. Every mm -hmm. week, there's six yeah. of us. Every week I look, someone is tangentially in their own, the internet controversy with some backstories and pre-existing relationships and things that I don't know about. Um, and that just is what, that just is par for the course. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It goes past to me. I assumed that, the, I assumed, yes, I, I thought she was in a huge scandal, but I thought it was because her platform is huge. I thought the drama is commensurate to the size of her platform, not the level of the true seriousness of like, this being a thing. And I'm not somebody, like I said, I wasn't gonna go out of my way to go spend my time like watching, you know, what I assume is drama, what controversy in a bunch of videos. And I and then I just didn't really know. And I just kind of was going about my business because to my understanding, all that had ever been presented to me um, on this situation or from Blair or, or anything was that, um, was that there are people that did not like her that she's previously known, you know what I mean? Because she went and did her own thing and jealousy. I see now that that is, that presents, that appears to be the opposite of such, right? But that was all I thought. I think this is, I thought this is some whatever thing. Um, and I've since, like I said, I've since gotten um, informed the whole thing about information in this life is when you get new information, you come to a, con you, you know, an opinion, a, co a conclusion. And I will say this, I understand why a lot of the, there were somebody in the River says, so far they've just been saying excuses as to why they didn't say anything. Um, again, um, I'm going to try my best to keep it to this specific response. In their previous response, they were really laughing it off. They were really, um, and I got to be a little critical to Olay here. Olay was really laughing it off in the last one. Um, and while that wasn't an official statement, um, I, 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 I feel like they really dropped the ball on that particular part that they didn't take the time to look into this stuff beforehand and sort of reflexively defended the largest member of their group which there's a lot of stupid shit that gets thrown around on the internet however when you're in, when when you have a lot of people in your audience when you have tons and tons of people reaching out to you um and saying hey this is actually really important i think it's valuable to at least give that give it a fair shake especially if it's somebody that you're making content with um but also i i do understand where i i do understand where where they're coming from in saying that god there's so much drama all the time people always are airing out their beefs on the internet there is truth to that I think the person that I'm going to have to criticize the most out of all of this is probably, unfortunately, going to have to be Lance. Because Lance went really, really hard on his defense. And Lance was, if I'm not mistaken, the founding member of this podcast. Um, yeah, so... You know, there's varying levels of, involve, of, of involvement in the creation of a podcast. And to be fair, to my knowledge, none of these people really went out of their way to defend Blair outside of sort of laughing it off a little bit too much in the last video that they did. Anyway, let's get back to the actual video at hand. Audience last week, I had noted, I, I'd seen say, you know, we're worried about y'all. You know what I mean? Is why mm -hmm. where and I was like in my mind and my spirit at the time I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Whatever. And and then by the time I watched um fifteen ex exposés, you know, it's really an unfortunate thing to piss off excellent video essays because you know, fascinating <laughs> drama as a person. Or who all of them. <laughs> um yeah i i understood what what people were saying i see true it's also bad to piss off excellent streamers which you are watching right now if you are watching and enjoying this deep dive part two uh please make sure that you press subscribe down below and please give me your likes we currently have just over 400 likes but we have a beautiful 700 viewers did you know that whenever we get a surge of likes, we also get a massive surge of new viewers? Earlier this stream, with the first time I asked for likes, there was 150 likes and there was 250 viewers. Now there's 400 likes and 700 viewers. You can help support right now just by pressing that little thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe to the channel because I'd love to have you back. 
Man, I've missed watching Demon Mama. It's good to be back. Welcome back. You know it's good. You know it's good. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Let's continue. You know, what's up? I, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand yeah. why y'all were like, we need to watch the videos. We need to this. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I want to add also that, like, I, the only context that I had was Blair's initial response video. And at yeah. that point, when I watched that, I thought that the totality of the drama was the legal eagle stuff. Um, watching her video, I didn't have any additional context. I thought that it was fine. But after going through watching, uh, you know, recap videos, watching I, the click and wonders videos, I actually feel really disappointed in myself that I didn't watch her initial video more critically because there were I, red flags. Yes. Okay. Mike Figueredo right here. This is extremely good on his part. It's extremely good for him to admit that, um, that, that he should have been more critical because let me tell you um uh th th that video should have raised red flags for anyone um i spend a lot of time watching and reacting to people online i spend a lot of tr time <laughs> trying to be as good of an internet skeptic as i possibly can and her video was had so many misinformation uh red flags the first time i watched the illuminati video now keep in mind i watched the illuminati video the day it came out as somebody who was a fan of Illuminati um, prior to this. You guys know I've watched and recommended Illuminati on this channel before. And when I watched that video, I went, what the hell is going on with this video? What the fuck is going on here? What is she saying? And I was, I was pausing the video to look at her receipts and going, this doesn't say what she says it says. So I, I think that this is, I do think I got to give credit to Mike Figueredo here for saying I should have done a better job because yes, people who watched her video really, I'm not talking about average viewers. These guys aren't your average YouTube users. These are all video makers. Some of them are news video makers. They're political video makers. They got to be, they got to be held to a higher standard. That video should have set off red flags for all of them. I assume here's the thing I watch it in a vacuum I watched mm -hmm. that in a vacuum mm -hmm. I've never seen I don't yeah, know any same. of these people I've never seen anything I assumed my my rational mind could only assume that she must have been responding to them you know what I mean like allegations right. they made I never thought I would have conceived like when I watched that that it was her presenting his mental health for the first time and bring it I didn't look at it yep. I didn't see this note I did it yep. you know what I mean in my mind oh she's in drama Here's a video. This is somebody, you know, I have a friendly, like, friendly enough relationship that I... And, and what, what Olay is saying here, I also have to give credit to Olay here for being forthright with this. Because what Olay is saying here is uh, credit for admitting it. I, I, I think that Olay obviously uh, needs to do better next time. But, but credit for admitting it here. Um, uh, that is why Blair structured her video the way that she did. Blair's video was structured so that if you didn't actually take all the time to slog through all of the um, the files down below, if you hadn't already read the click and wonders thread about it, it would sound like she was responding to something, but she wasn't. She was putting forward something in the form of a response using her reputation, using the bias that her audience has towards her being her viewers and fans to to make them go, oh yeah, well, I assume she's responding to something that was said about her, but she wasn't. For a lot of that video, she wasn't responding to things that were said about her. It was very manipulative. It was very dirty. And it works. That type of manipulation works because it plays on biases. This is why it's important to be careful, even with content creators that you like. I host thing or whatever cool whatever i wasn't i didn't i didn't i didn't know that i didn't see i didn't whatever once i actually seen videos and seeing what the original tweets and all these different things are i could see it differently the use of the platform but i didn't have any of that context and like you know i thought about it, it's just i just did not realize 
I just didn't fucking realize a month ago, like, this would be this. I really, like I said, this is the first time we've never met. We've done this show this whole time. This was something, like, we did to have fun. Like, like Lance put us together one time for a midterm stream. Then we thought it would be fun to do the show. And we've never had a meeting, ever. We we go yeah, real. True. We just roll with it. We've never had a meeting. We This was the first time we had to have a meeting. I never I, thought I could see a meeting. So I just didn't know. Yeah, and I also want to address the fact that, like, uh, when it comes to this entire situation, I also released an individual video to apologize because I did take, uh, like, Blair's side initially when I'd seen her first video, and I didn't know this was going to continuously amplify into what it's become. It's one of those things where, like, I recorded that, I went off to go do the Tim Pool thing, uh, you know, my editor ended up releasing it, like, days later, and then all of a sudden it's like, Lance, you have to watch, like, eight more videos. There's, like, there's, like, hours and hours and hours of things now that have come out since, and then, like... I think it's to, like totally valid and totally like you know it's it's a very fair criticism of both myself or I guess any other content creator who makes this kind of stuff and is like you can't just say that stuff exists in a vacuum you can't just like isolate yourself completely and be like oh well this is you know maybe there's there's always going to be more to the story or, or something else is going to come out you know uh, I think that's a totally fair critique what I don't think is a fair critique by the way chat and this is the one that I'm going to push back on to the people who are like Lance is doing this because he's simping he's he's simping this is the first off you can have friends who are women. It's okay. It's it's awesome, actually. It's super based. It's super, super awesome to have friends who are women. And also standing up for women in general. Uh Holy Lance is gay. <laughs> okay, that is kind of funny that people would say that. Doesn't immediately mean that the only reason is you want fuck. Like, yes, oh, do, what? Do, do, do we get to fuck now? And if you really want to push this whole kind of like, I was uh, being a led astray uh, to, and I know this is for internet trauma and everything, um, it, you could say the same thing about when I saw the clicks video for the first time. I was like, oh, this is this is an incredibly uh, gorgeous uh, human being. He's very, very beautiful. Uh, am, am I being swayed by that in and of itself? Am I not like going to listen to the arguments that come out right afterwards? Am I not going to hear, uh, you know, what, what happens? It, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I have to say something here for my part. Um, I'm glad that Lance acknowledges that it's fair to criticize him because let me just say, Lance went really fucking hard. Now, in my original Drama Mama, I did not cover Lance's response because it wasn't relevant at all. I was covering the initial situation. But now, in this addendum, uh, Lance really goofed up on this one, okay? Lance, like, he really goofed up on this one. Lance made a video that was titled, uh, Illuminati Debunks Malicious Lies from... from uh, fuck, what was the title? It was Illuminati debunks malicious lies from, um, like, something. I, I, I'm not getting it right here because the video's been deleted now, but it's something along the lines of, like, uh, outraged former co-workers. It was something very, very close to that. Um, and, um, and also he was going really, really hard on Twitter saying that these were, like, uh, spurned, uh, former co-workers uh, spurned former employees who were just r raging at her and that is so far from the truth um, Lance really went way too hard in this situation and Lance is gonna have to kind of deal with that because it really does it was a really bad look he didn't just defend her like a little bit he didn't just deflect he didn't just like not take it seriously he went so far as to join her in uh, further slandering the people who are coming against her just out of familiarity with this person. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Hunga Master says, to be fair, the editor for the co-op made the title, not Lance, but Lance didn't take down the video for over a week. Um, I don't think that excuse works because Lance said the same thing in his videos. He said things as bad as the title in the video that he did. In fact, he he said that they were aggrieved men going after a woman, ganging up against a woman for being successful at one point in his videos, which is just, um, just Jesus, that is very, very careless, incredibly careless, especially, and it, and it looks beyond terrible, especially given the situation. Like, um, trying to be like, uh, like, oh yeah, Wonder, uh, who was a 19 year old who got financially abused by Illuminati, um, 
uh, uh, trying to like frame him as like an aggrieved man going after like a, a, a more successful content creator when she explicitly used her her position of money and power to lock him into a bunch of financial uh, contracts that she ended up it was just just terrible. So yeah, unfortunately, Lance is gonna have to take his uh he's gonna have to take his licks on this one, um because he was way 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 wrong like really really wrong and he went really really hard in a way that none of his other co-hosts did it was uh it was bad it was really bad danny says fuck that it's your channel if your editor fucks up what they put out as a representation of you if i put out something that made demon mama look bad i would fully expect to be let go or at least the very least yelled at there is a there is a line for that i agree with what you're saying but in this circumstance nothing that was done by the editor is worse than what lance himself did i i i appreciate that and i understand where you're coming from and i think you're right in some circumstances but the reason why i don't think that's a good excuse in this case is because lance said uh said worse things about them in the video itself the title was not the thing that was the problem here it wasn't like the title was really super aggressive and then lance's video was really nice to wonder and click he was really harsh to wonder and click and was like ripping into them and accusing them of being like men ganging up on a woman um and then the title was just also bad if that makes sense it is definitely possible for like an editor to like um, to like do something that's out of line. Like for example, like, um, like, like if an editor, like w what if I had, what if my, what if my editor put a thumbnail of just like, p like a porn thumbnail to fuck over my video, that would be a pretty shitty thing to do. Um, it could damage the channel really bad. And that would be something that I think would be the editor's fault. But I don't think in this case it's the editor's fault just to be clear. Anyway. I did not see Lance's video. Um, I did not see Lance's video on Xander Hall or Xander Hall's video on Lance. So I don't know if they talked about the Illuminati drama. Maybe it would be worth looking into those videos if it's relevant. But for now, we're going to stick to this. Thank you, Nico Nerd. This is by an artist named Canis Ovis. You can find them on Etsy. Canis, C A N I S, Ovis, O V I S, like, like wolf and sheep. And uh, it's a, it's one of my favorite shirts. I absolutely love it. Here's the hair. I'll even show the whole thing. Bing. Look at that. It's a beautiful, beautiful shirt. Gayfish says, after you did your stream title that was just titled The R Slur. Bing. Uh, I thought about wor working the word into every single timestamp, but after listening to your rant, I was like, actually, that sounds pretty counter to your argument, because and because I'm conscientious of how my actions affect others. Yeah, you you do a good job. Um, anyway, let's get back to the video. I just wanted to be clear about that. Um, I'm going to have more words of critique for Lance as this goes on anyway, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see people in the chat um, saying, for those, for the general, for anybody who might be confused, I don't know how y'all have missed it at this point. If we're finally up to date, I don't know how y'all don't know what's up. But basically, the the, the summation is Blair has uh, been accused and a significant amount of evidence that has not been rebutted um, has been presented to show that ba but Blair basically has a pattern of um, abuse. Ab she has a she has, seems vengeful. It seems like she has a pattern. She has a pattern of being vengeful towards content creators in her path. That's what it seems like. Um, like vengeful is definitely a way to describe it. But when we uh, we should be clear when 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 Olay says vengeful here, I mean she tried to ruin the careers of people who did nothing but stop but not want to work with her anymore. They they were like we're done with this project because you yelled at us. And then she freaked out and tried to accuse them of literal, of, of literal criminal and moral, m morally debauched behavior with the purpose of damaging them. Redcarp98 says, with the $5, says, hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad I discovered your channel and I've been on a binge of your content. Keep up the good work. Love from Red. Will do. Thank you. I'm going to be reading all the donos as time goes on. Just that one happened, happened to catch my eyes. Welcome to the channel, Red, and hope you'll have a really good time. Anyway, let's get into it. That's what 
what the accusations mm -hmm. are. People who've worked with her, um, it seems like that from watching a million exposés, it seems like what what it seems like perceived slights lead to to um, massive, massive. And there's also a power imbalance here as well. First of all, if any of you just told us that she was a landlord, she would have been gone like that. I didn't know we had a landlord in, in our midst, okay? That is a non-starter for me. I think that as leftists, we failed by admitting a landlord to the podcast. Finding that out was... It was mind blowing. The but landlord like, thing is the thing we find most horrifying of the things. <laughs> no, not not most. No, 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 not most. It would have got oh, my no, attention. Okay, good, good on Mike for saying no. It's not the most horrifying thing, but it. But, sure. <laughs> but, but like overall, uh, going it wasn't through the landlord thing for ooh. We can we can go through. I, I think it's important I to go through some. Of I don't it. care about. The, I mean, I'm not a landlord, but I don't give a shit about that. I mean, it. The, whatever it was like, the, the deleting it was really you know a lot of a lot of shit made made my like hair stand up like what made me like i said i'm i'm really prepared to i said to all of y'all i was like oh for the one time i'm like i'm really the, 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 the audience the audience was right and that we need to look into it. i see what they were saying as far as like yeah right like bad. this is something we need to address um it wasn't just drama like it was way more than drama uh you yeah, know that's it was our, framed our to our us as drama. not yeah yeah, it, it's and again, we are in a position where we are constantly presented with drama and a lot of it is bad faith. So we, like uh, when we're on this massive platform, when you have six different leftists from different spheres of the Internet, I mean, you have a lot of bad faith um, bullshit. So you, you, we kind of have to have that baked in solidarity by default. But in this instance, uh, you know, their solidarity was kind of... Um, it was bad for us. And part of it is because like being in a group dynamic here like this with somebody who has very clearly had issues with groups in the past. That's why this was Xander Toron says so far, it kind of feels like they're tap dancing around exactly what she did. Um, I do think that's a problem. I think they should have opened this by laying out what the allegations actually were because they have indeed been stepping around that. Um, and I think it would have been more effective if they opened up by laying out why the allegations matter. Instead, they're sort of relying on the audience's knowledge. But to be fair, they also did admit that their audience was yell their entire audience was basically revolting to tell them to address it. So I guess they're kind of correct to assume that the audience knows even more than they do, since their audience was in absolute uproar about the situation. Just to be fair. <laughs> Was people were especially concerned, I think, um, just yeah. to kind of go through. So like the because my audience, it seems like a lot of my audience doesn't even know just to give you a really quick rundown. So there is a bunch of allegations, but the biggest ones that stood out to me was uh, there was this group called Sad Milk and one of the members click. Um, she essentially pedo jacketed him. Um, she smeared him. She paid people to dig up dirt on him. She, she actually did worse than pedo jacketing him. I need to be clear about this. She did worse than pedo jacketing him. Um, she accused him of facilitating a pedophile friendly space. She accused him of creating a space in which children were systematically destroyed to the degree that she was linking, um, like, like resources for kids to get, uh, to like, to like, she was linking resources for kids to go like find help if they're being sexually abused and specifically called him out by name and specifically said he was facilitating a dangerous place for children. He actually, it's actually worse, believe it or not. It's actually worse um, than accusing a single guy of being a pedophile. It's actually worse to say, no, you're actually making a space where pedophiles can find victims. Um, by uh, an order of magnitude. So you yeah, just let I just want to be clear that was she was she was so unbelievably deranged in her accusation against him. He had sock puppet accounts harass him and you know think of the Jimmy Dore libtard 01 situation on steroids exponentially worse when it comes to wonder watching his full video like I watched a bunch of recaps and then I watched wonders full video and the recaps didn't do it justice the wonder video broke my fucking heart I really identified with him because he was in this position where he was very young he was 19 years old she was his landlord she controlled his transportation she controlled a lot of elements of his life and the problem with like having your employer be your landlord and control so much of your life is they can take away your entire livelihood like that. It's not just your livelihood, your housing. And basically that happened to Wonder. 
he lost everything and it nearly drove him to the brink of suicide. And then she took that and she used that against him in his video when he talked about how and this part really struck me in in wonder's video wonder talked about how he told blair he was trying to unalive himself he was looking for the keys to his dad's gun gun cabinet and her response to oz media and oz is somebody who kind of covered for her and brought all the receipts was that well i don't know what the reason was effectively why he did this but i'm just concerned for myself not even taken into any concern his personal safety and she kind of framed it as a wellness check when she called the police on him wonder shared how you know telling the police there's a suicidal man that could put me in danger you know even though i was suicidal there it's just there's there's a lot and again like to me it, it, it's not it's not just simple drama. This this goes beyond drama. It's abuse. And it reminds me of like a textbook Darvo case, which Dar it, it truly was abuse. And again, remember that Oz Media uh, later, Oz Media, who was involved in that specific situation, later came forward and said that Blair did not have any intent of framing it like a wellness check, that instead she framed it as if she was fearing for her own life. So she called into the police that an armed man in a mental health crisis, a, 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 a man having a mental health crisis had access to weaponry and that she was in danger. Now we will never know what she actually said to the police. That is something that would only ever come out if there was any, some sort of like massive legal case and it might never be made public. But from what we can tell, we have no reason to believe what she said and everyone else involved stated that she was not just doing a wellness check, that she spent even in her own words, she said that she was concerned for her own safety even though she was thousand like thousands of miles away and he was suicidal not homicidal for those of you who don't know is an acronym for deny attack reverse victim offender where instead of just owning up to something and apologizing you flip it and you make yourself the victim and you go on the offensive and now watching their videos and juxtaposing that with Blair's response and seeing that again, it, it feels more like that to me, although I'm not a, like I'm not a psychoanalyst. So, you know, I can't I can't say any more, but like this is very serious and I, I, I feel really, really bad. Don't say it won't be public. Yeah, but not all lawsuits enter like not all lawsuits like just because there's a lawsuit doesn't mean that the evidence will end up being public. Um there could be a lawsuit. We'll get to that in a little bit. We're going to talk about that more. But just because there's a lawsuit doesn't mean we'll ever know. We will probably never know what she actually said to the police. But according to her own words, which we have evidence of, um, we do. We have no reason to believe that she was calling in a wellness check. And we have every reason to believe that she was uh, trying to further punish Wonder. Because keep in mind, this occurred after she already used the police to repossess his car which contained all of his working all of his possessions that he needed to continue doing his job she had done there is no ifs ands or buts she was punishing and brutally punishing him at that point we have no reason to believe that she wasn't just continuing her punishment of him for the situ the people involved especially wonder yeah yeah. yeah no it, i mean it, I, yeah. I i haven't spoken much on this because i you guys are saying everything I, i'm agreeing with like this is a, just for, from my perspective i think it was said earlier like i just didn't think anything of this until i saw it like i think it was like we were like three weeks into it mm -hmm. and and she hadn't been on the show for for those weeks either like she took time away um and i was seeing comments and comments like, still comments i'm like all right i guess this is for real let me look <laughs> into this and then when i finally watched a couple of videos i was like oh okay this is this actually is serious and again we have the perspective of seeing bullshit ongoing bullshit all the time whether it's on twitter or wherever about you know all of us uh, at some point so it's it's hard to know what to take seriously when it becomes when it's about personal drama between two people because there are other you know, criticisms that we're trying to compare it to like, oh, you guys went after Anna. Like, we, which was so, it's just so stupid on so many levels. <laughs> because that is so it's not stupid. the same. Like, not even close to the same. We're, that is a, a, something that was said publicly on Twitter that on its face, we could all like be, just by seeing what was written that we didn't agree with. It's much different than knowing what is happening between personal, you know, uh, personal, relationships between between individuals like those are not 
the same at all because we have and no, past Anna agrees we have no with, with the take as well on what is going on in those relationships right we, meanwhile when it comes to a public post it's very easy to, to see what's going on there so again it, it took a while for also the, the us Anna to take this situation seriously. the Anna situation was an issue like a, a issue we could t discuss there mm -hmm. was it's 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 not one that you know I wish she had but it's nonetheless an issue that can Yikes. be discussed like if Illuminati had said what Anna said she wouldn't have disappeared for three weeks would have requested she come on the show so we could have this debate yeah. about this important issue this would not yes. have been something that would have been oh you know we got to wait for it to see what happens or you know I you, you should step away well, <laughs> she's the one who actually if, I really though people should know this you know when when this first happened she's the one who wanted to step away we mm -hmm. we we stood by her at first from what we knew because this stuff hadn't all come out and it was the legal eagle stuff and we were like you don't need to step away just come on the show what's what's wrong but she was the scuffy audio is on their end yes i uh I, 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 I saw somebody else covering this. This is on th this is in their video. That's not on our end. I apologize. Uh, it's not my audio, Hope Eternal. It, this is this is Matt Matt Bender's mic was dying here. The quality is unbearable. Yeah, it's okay. It clears up in a little bit. It's just Matt Bender's mic was freaking out at this point. Very insistent. In fact, in in their own chat, they're all roasting him about stepping away. Yeah, mm -hmm. I oh, I want I also I want to let the record reflect. I told her to address this. Like my behind the scenes was come on the show. My position was always that you if you are running running essentially and the, and the internet wants to address you about something and they feel like you're running away, you have a live show every Thursday, you know, they're only going to hunt you down. You need to come address it. You, you know, that was always my position and it always Okay, real quick, I'm going to do a quick speculation. I think I think I know the reason why Illuminati is not uh, decided to step back from the leftist mafia. On the surface, uh, that seems like a weird thing for her to do. Unless she's avoiding commenting on this any further in, 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 until she can do something legal. And I think that's probably what's going to happen. And unfortunately... I think that the target is going to be almost exclusively wonder. Uh, mark my words. I ha I. This is, of course, my calculation and my read of the situation, but I believe that she stepped back from leftist mafia because she knew the audience was reacting poorly and she didn't want to constantly have questions on it because she would then be put in a position where she has to respond. I think that what she's going to do is that she is going to utilize the fact that she had Wonder sign non-disparagement clauses and non-disclosure agreements. I believe that she that the contracts that Wonder signed are going to put her in a position where she can wield the law against Wonder. I think Click is going to be completely ignored. I I would be willing to bet that Illuminati doesn't even talk about Click anymore because the Click's case was so rock solid. Um, however, we all watched the Wonders video. We all watched Wonders video, not the Wonder. That's I was thinking of the Click. We all watched Wonderstruck's video, and Wonderstruck's video, while heartbreaking, um, had some had some errors with it. He left himself open, and he acknowledged that there was a risk that there would be legal action taking taken against him. He also acknowledged that he signed a lot of contracts, which is why I believe that Illuminati is just going to conveniently ignore everything that the Click said and is going to go full bore targeting Wonder. I would be very surprised if that's not exactly how this unfo how this unfolds, and I would be very surprised if that's not the reason why she stepped back from the leftist mafia was to avoid accidentally saying things that could damage her case in the near future. Hungamaster four twenty says, "I think Wonder said that he had his, he and his dad and a lawyer family friend said that the car contract was not legally binding. That means nothing." Uh, Unfortunately, I, I understand where people are coming from, but that's wishful thinking. Um, a, a lawyer friend saying that they don't think it's legal binding, legally binding doesn't mean that there isn't a way that it actually is legally binding. The Click and Oz also signed NDAs. Well, they signed NDAs for a different situation. The Click and Oz signed NDAs specifically with Sad Milk, which they left before this shit started happening. So I don't actually think, I don't, at least... 
I don't have any reason to believe that the Click or Oz engaged in anything that would be vi in violation of an NDA, um, even a non-disparagement clause. Um, I'm not a lawyer, obviously, but but their situations were very different. Um, Wonder made a lot of claims in his video, okay? A lot of claims in his video. And he backed them up with receipts, but a lot of those claims um, that he made might become problematic depending on what he signed. Also, um, also, yes, as Bluestone points out, the click doesn't live in the United States. So yeah, good luck at Blair trying to sue somebody internationally over, uh, over an internet dispute. It's not going to happen. The click is basically is there. There's no, there's no way that's going to happen. Just no fucking way. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. It was, but again, I didn't. I didn't have the. I didn't have the context of 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 what the situation was, and I want to echo a lot of the earlier sentiments. The Anna Kasparian thing, y'all are doing that's a false equivalent with the situation in its entirety, um, and I don't even feel like addressing it. Um, mm -hmm. And as far as the Blair stuff, listen, it was. It's very frustrating because y'all have to understand we're doing a live show across a bunch of different platforms. We have to look at um, a bunch of live chats and comments and things that get in your head. People are literally swarming our chats they're being incredibly it's stressful right and then there are a lot of people who do not and have never watched our show now suddenly they're watching the show you know screaming at us saying all these negative comments about us you know in the audience because we haven't responded to this or blah 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 but they have no other context of us no other life us. It's, it's it's very we were wading through a lot um and and trying to figure that out and we're doing our best and i think we're doing our best to be as transparent as humanly possible i feel like a lot of other shows and places and stuff would not be having a conversation with you or anything that like that. True. You that know, is true. We are we are trying. I feel like y'all should uh, give us a little bit of grace. But yeah, I want to echo what, what Mike it's said. It's true that a lot of shows wouldn't do this, but a lot of shows wouldn't have done the previous video they did either where they kind of laughed it off. So I don't really, I don't think, I think that's neither here nor there, honestly. Yeah. Also, most other shows probably would not have an audience that, that that is as invested this show being called the leftist mafia means that the audience is going to be particularly invested if one of the members is not only like a rampant abuser a, a rampant liar but also a landlord uh, making your show leftism themed is probably going to get people riled up if one of your members is a giant uh corporate abuse financial abuse piece of shit and and i want to be i want to be like i said i i a few times i want to be accountable at the audience i think the audience was right to tell us that we mm -hmm. we should look into it i don't think that makes us case in point they admit that their audience was going crazy at them that their audience was demanding that they have a response to this wrong for not realizing that we should have like looked at it and been you know super involved but i do appreciate that y'all insisted that y'all insisted and that we took the time yeah. to go look into it because i see that it is a much bigger thing because i watch like i said i watch a lot of videos and i kept learning more and more information and seeing that this is largely a pattern and seeing like like i haven't had any issues whatever but what i think what i found were very striking is of the information that have been presented to me because i have like i told y'all i have talked to blair and um since all this has happened i talked to her what was being given to me just did not at all at all at all present what was you know what i mean i felt very right. like what the fuck like hey what the fuck right. when, when the fuck did i enter the game of thrones i was blown away i'm like what is what is happening like I was going, i'm like you know so you know, you know what this made me realize? I, I would be so shit at the Game of Thrones. I was like, when this was all going down, when I was watching hey. all the videos, I was like, oh my god, I would love to think that I was gonna be some fine, like you know, bisexual god king, like the Viper or some shit. No, no, I would get rolled. I would get so rolled. There's like so many moments where I'm just like, wait, what? Because I'm, I'm too trusting. I would get I, fucking manipulated. <laughs> like, I'm damn pretty good. I had everybody's <laughs> reactions, like everybody in 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 Lafka's Mafia pegged for how we'd respond in different situations and stuff. The thing about the Blair. Situation is I'm not paying attention to Blair because Blair, you know, has only ever served in a. She's a triangle, 
I can't. We don't see her in the first place. <laughs> right. We don't know what she They're looks like. Ten minutes collectively, the entire show, you know, and so she's she serves more moderatorish when she's here, and she's pleasant in those interactions. So there's really no reason for me to assess her. You know what I mean? To like be thinking about her on a deep level. And so you know, we've we've only. Meanwhile, she was Littlefinger the whole time. She's oh my god, Littlefinger, seriously, nigga, seriously. Like what? I, uh, okay, this is a bit, it's a bit cringe and and a bit silly, but also, I think, I think Cersei is kind of a correct fit here, with one exception, which is that most of Cersei's motiv motivation, I, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, some of my new viewers might not know this, I reviewed the entire Game of Thrones show uh, being a gigantic super fan of A Song of Ice and Fire, I watched the entire show and reviewed it on this channel, um, which was a wild, wild, wild experience, especially as someone who adored the books. Um, I am indeed a book reader. I love, I fucking love game, the, 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 a song of ice and fire books. And I really liked the first few seasons of the show, obviously, like most people did. Anyway, point is, um, I actually do think Cersei is a, is a fairly, a fairly good fit. If you're going to make a nerdy ass game, game of Thrones analogy, except Cersei did everything that she did for her kids. Um, sometimes it was kind of like a cover, like her kids were ultimately most of the time under her control. And so it was kind of a self-empowerment thing, but Cersei actually literally tried to bend fate, the prophecy that would, you know, against her, uh, the prophecy against her children. She tried to bend fate in order to protect her kids, which as much of a monstrous and manipulative piece of shit that Cersei was, there was that thing going for her that she actually did care about her kids, that her kids were actually her primary motivation. Whereas Blair um, is basically doing like Cersei type behavior over shitty YouTube channels, which is pretty embarrassing, honestly. It's pretty fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let's continue. Book Cersei is more, much more complex. TV Cersei is just deranged. Yeah, TV, TV Cersei, like, has no... She has basically no redeeming qualities. Uh, but, yeah, the, that's because the TV show sucks, though. Uh, TV, TV show sucks. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like, and I had to like go to like, cause me and Lab have pretty much been on like I would have been know, cut in season one. I wouldn't make it past season one. Hey, <laughs> I would go to Lance on Saturday and be like, that is definitely true, Lance. You would not make it past season one. Um That's hold on. Wait, we're, we're, I wait a second. I think we were I literally went I said We might I hate I hate for you to I hate it. But David Dole might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, have to, I was like, I'm gonna let me go to the chat. You know? <laughs> I think David and Binder had this. Maybe you should. I, maybe you should give more credit to me and my chat from now I, on. Then I, I think that's what's gonna happen. Chat, you're you're beating the racism charges now. <laughs> Okay, that's mean, Gayfesh. Gayfesh says Lance wouldn't even make it to become to get Ned Starked. He'd be that butcher's kid that gets murked in the second episode. That's mean. That's too mean. But it is kind of true because I do think that Lance is a good guy. I got to be clear. I I do think that Lance is a good guy. I just think he really fucked up here in a really stupid way. Um, and yeah, the butcher's kid didn't really do. The, the butcher's kid just was with his friends and got fucking murked. It is kind of true. <laughs> uh, Lance is nice. Uh, yeah, l look, look. I, again, I have never had a, I have never had a single negative experience with Lance. I really do like Lance and I really do think that Lance is a generally good person. I just think in this case, he really goofed up. He really fucked up. And I think it was a genuine fuck up but it was a fuck up that he has to learn from. If Lance doesn't learn from this situation, it's going to seriously come back to bite him because no one is gonna trust what he has to say about any other person in these spaces. It's gonna mean that he has, it's just gonna, it's gonna seem like he has just horrible judgment because he went really, really hard on Blair's side and that was a big mistake. That was a huge mistake. I just gotta be clear about that. Again, 
I really like Lance. This is a big fuck up. This is a big fuck up. <laughs> we ourselves, but I will give you credit. I will acknowledge I did come very. I told y'all in our official meeting. I said, "Wait a second. I have a new opinion. I want to I have a new opinion. I am totally prepared." Sirius says, "If Lance just fucked up, then why was he defending Blair even after the clicks video came out, saying that Blair had receipts coming that would disprove all the other videos? Maybe he really was a true believer, but it seems more to me like he's switching sides cynically." I don't think so. I, I really don't think that he's switching sides cynically. I think that Lance believe I think that Blair told Lance that she was gonna blow these guys out and that he just bought it. Like I think it's that simple. I think Blair said, Lance, don't worry, I'm gonna destroy these guys, but I can't tell I can't show it to you because I have a legal case going. And Lance went, Okay, yeah, I trust you. You're my friend. I've worked with you for however long. All right, I'll trust your word. Fuck these guys who are trying to fuck you over. I unironically, I think that's that's it. I just think that's it. We have a clip. What's this? Is this a Lance clip? What's this? Because again, not entirely my world. I understand the responsibility of having to say that I interact with Illuminati. So yes, if there are people genuinely accusing her of some very vile stuff, and that stuff turns out to be 100% true, and she was 100% guilty for it, I agree with you. I would agree with you that yes, you should take responsibility, or at least uh, have her talk about it if you're going to continue to have her on your show. And I have been talking to her behind the scenes about all these things that are brought up. It's not, again, I'm not in the position or to be the person who's at this moment the one, because it's not my receipts it's not my story it's not my thing to be the one who's going to uh reveal well uh, here you go here here it is here, here's the pile uh but again i'll say this uh, like like i did before the first video was released all the things that are in all of those other videos well guess what there's more information coming that's that's all i can tell you at this point that's all i can tell you obsessed with this do you see what i'm saying to me he he doesn't say he's seen the receipts here he's in fact he specifically just says it's not my battle, but she, but, but there's stuff coming. I think what happened. This is legitimately. I'm being dead serious here. Um, I think that she said I can't tell you this because I'm gonna because there's an ongoing legal case. But let me tell you, I've got a million receipts coming, and these guys are gonna get blown out. And Lance went, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, okay, yeah, great. That's what. That's my theory. I really, I. And I could be wrong, but if Lance was engaging in some sort of cynical side switching, the cynical side switching should have occurred much earlier and it would have been better for him. It would have been so much better for him to, to side switch earlier. I can only categorize his behavior in this as a very naive uh, stupidity that pushed into some... Uh, maliciousness via stupidity. Because, and I do think that's it. That's my theory. And again, yeah. Sorry, it's just what it is. That's just what I think it is. To embrace humility and say when you get more information, you can come to a different conclusion. I see what's up. It's real <laughs> fucking crazy. For me, it was the the wonder struck stuff really blew me. Uh, blew my fucking mind and and I also was really like I hated for my own self that I I'm just so busy and not thinking about it that I did I missed the over it was an oversight because if I had been paying attention it should have immediately okay but some of you guys in chat really don't like Lance and honestly I think some of you got to chill a little bit um there is like a there is a like there is a really strong anti like really 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 uh unhinged anti Lance faction out there and I just think it goes across the line. I don't think that um most of the stuff that people bring up against Lance is not stuff like this. They think that he like said something cringe or didn't represent a point very well. Um the truth is I think that by and large Lance goes out of his way to be a, a pretty good person, even if there's some things that he's foolish on, like this particular situation. Anyway, let's continue. Gayfesh says, I think Lance's biggest flaw is that he has poor discernment in who he associates with. Like he streams with Thought Slime on the reg. reg. Guys, some people are just really, really bad 
at uh, parsing that type of social situ that type of social thing. Like some people just do not understand that somebody who is nice to them personally might not be a good person or might be engaging in really bad behavior. Like some people really struggle with that. Some people just aren't good at it. And yeah, other people are really cynical, but um, I don't think Lance has much to gain from Thought Slime. Um, and also, I don't even, I don't even think Thought Slime's channel is like, is Thought Slime's channel even like growing? Like, isn't Thought Slime kind of like stagnant? Like, so I don't really think you can say that's like an like a like a you know cynical ploy to grow his channel. I just think that Thought Slime has probably been really really nice to Lance. And so Lance is friends with him and, 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 you know, doesn't care about the other stuff. See, I disagree with that, Hunga Master. Hunga Master says, I don't know, he routinely makes a fool of himself in every debate that he has, doesn't learn from his mistakes, and continues to do debates despite not doing his homework beforehand. I think he did his homework. Even in the Tim Pool one where everyone said he should have prepared more, I think he was prepared. He tripped up, but Tim Pool was literally losing his mind. And I don't think most people would be able to keep their cool uh, uh, when you're uh, when it's a four-on-one with Freedom Tunes, the fucking insane Irish, uh, Irish conservative. Uh, 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 you have Moon Lord, you have the producer, and you have Tim Pool literally getting so mad that he was spitting. You could see Tim Pool fucking spitting on the camera. I don't know. Did you see his debates with Lauren Southern? Um, I saw his debate with Lauren Southern, and I do think he goofed that up, but I don't think, I actually think that in the Lauren Southern debate, um, the biggest problem was his debate, his debate co-host. Anyway, enough. We're moving on. Immediately alerted me. Why would a CEO or why would the boss be, you know, buying the car and all these different things? Like, it's so obvious once it's exposed and once the receipts, like, you know what I mean, what's happening there. But I just didn't fucking think about it like that. From my yeah. perspective, how it was being presented to me was very like, look at what I've done for this person. And this person is is doing this to me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I and I also think... Um, Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to say on this. Hunga Master says, Vosh did fine in those circumstances. If you can't handle that setting, that's fine. Just don't volunteer to debate. One, Vosh was not debating with Tim Pool. Vosh was debating with uh, with Charlie Kirk, who's very different than Tim Pool, and Tim Pool had to pretend to be a moderator. Um, very, very different circumstance. And if you watch that conversation, Tim Pool never freaked the fuck out on Vosh. That's not me saying Vosh is a really good debater, okay? Like... Debating is his main thing that he does. Um, that was only the second one? Did, did he do two? I don't remember the first one then. Maybe he did get his mad. You guys can tell me honestly um, uh, if if you really think that Tim Pool lost his mind at Vosh the same way that he lost his mind at Lance. I've, I've seen a, a, quite a few Tim Pool debates and I've never seen Tim Pool getting that mad at anybody. He was losing his fucking mind on Lance. I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's let's move on now. I, I don't want to sort this out anymore. Let's fucking move on. You know, I wished throughout this whole... Well, I don't wish, honestly, because I think everything needed to happen. Like, everything needed to happen. It seems like this has happened for a long time. This is a long whatever. And this is no... Listen, this is not any... I don't got no personal beef with, with, with Blair Illuminati. I hope they figure out, I hope not wishing any ill on them, they could do it mm -hmm. however they want. But this is just what my objective thoughts are on the situation. Um, as a, like, if it were my client, I wouldn't take it to trial is what I'm saying based on, on that's what, what I've seen. You know, it seems like this has happened for a long time and because of power, you know what I mean? And having a large platform, it hasn't been exposed in this large of a way, but it seems like Wonderstruck got the, got the, got the, the, um, got the strength to come forward because the click did and then everybody else did with their platforms and that's the only reason why it's like this and I, so I think that i think that um that situation needed to happen and maybe if we had been paying more attention from the beginning it would not because if it did if i'd been paying more attention i would have told her never to tweet the ship the legal legal stuff but i wasn't paying attention then you know like when that happened <laughs> no, and then you, were, and then said, 
Yeah, but I couldn't care to what you have to understand. If you're not in this world of like this kind of, I don't know people who do things like this. I don't, I couldn't even conceive that someone's doing shit like I don't, this. this I, don't, I don't understand what that was there. I, I, I don't understand what that was about there. Was what uh, the the legal legal thing was bad in and of itself, guys? Okay, um, a lot of people had downplayed the legal eagle situation because by comparison it seems less bad. But making a a a massive allegation of plagiarism on your pub public platform out of the blue against a random other content creator when you have no evidence is really fucking bad. It's really bad i just need you guys to be clear the legal eagle situation in and of itself was a fucking disaster and and blair was completely in the wrong illuminati completely in the wrong with the legal eagle situation like i literally went to the group chat we went like hold on this is this is scary i see why they're telling us we should be concerned um but i couldn't conceive of that so i i i just Y'all, I'm just, I was, I was fucking shocked. Okay. I didn't fucking know. Yeah. Blindsided. We were blindsided. Yeah. I, I, that's, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah and I, I was, just want to say that, like, supportive. I was being trying to be, like, very supportive to them. I'm a defense attorney, right? It, you know, I just mind, like, we, oh, okay. People are fucking, you know, that's what I assume. Oh, hello, Lorenati. Lay, it's good to see you. Bender was saying he told her not to tweet the legal eagle stuff. Like, he told her it didn't appear to be plagiarism from the jump. Dan, that was very smart of Bender then. Uh, thanks for coming by. Um, I've been, uh, as you can tell, <laughs> I've been covering this this drama for some time. Um, glad to have you here. Uh, mad, mad respect uh, to you and, and all of your content. And honestly, I got to say, um, I, I don't know how long you've been watching, but um, but uh, I, I, I shouted out both you and Mike for, for sort of owning up to the initial situation, because I do appreciate that. Honestly, everyone here has has pretty much um, has pretty much sort of owned up to the fact that that the initial situation did warrant more uh, investigation. But um, anyway, yeah, um, good to know. Thank you for that clarification. Uh, that was very smart on Matt Binder's part because the legal eagle situation was was that was so she was so in the wrong. Accusing him of plagiarism was ridiculous. Um, blah blah blah. But once I once I see it, I said, "All right." Cool. And hey, you can't like guard. unsee it. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. One thing that I, that Lance said that resonated with me in his apology video was that like he. Kind Alay from from YouTube chat says, "Yeah, I want to reiterate to everyone that I see the magnitude of what happened. Now it wasn't drama; it was a pattern of abuse uh, of abuse of power." Yeah, um, d absolutely. I think you're 100 percent right, and. Uh, and thank you for thank you for reiterating that to the chat because um, it definitely was. Uh, I I as my audience can tell you um, when I do drama, I tend to do what I call a drama mama. A drama mama being a deep dive where I get all of the receipts in order in advance, and I reserve judgment until I've uh, to the best of my ability. You know, I'm still just a YouTuber at the end of the day. I'm not anything fancy. I'm not like a news channel, but I get all the receipts in order and then we try to come to a conclusion. And uh, I also try to reserve drama mamas for dramas that I think are actually impactful. If you look at the history of my drama mamas, most of them have been not even in this space. Most of the drama mamas tend to be major accusations. They tend to be, uh, I mean, I did one on like the, allegations of racism at the dc you know like uh the comic book movie studio um which we dove really deep into that um i did a drama mama covering the uh back when donald trump had that god what was her name i can't even remember her name now donald trump's former press secretary uh the whole child abuse situation there most of my drama mamas tend to be very focused on things that uh that are not minor um, and this was one of them where I'm like, this definitely raised to drama mama situation, which is why it took me so long to put out my video. Cause I was waiting myself to decide whether I thought this was something that I actually wanted to take time on stream so much time on stream to cover. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue.
Let's continue. Let's continue. Kind of puts too much trust in people that he's like friendly with. And I absolutely do the same thing. It really Thank you. Uh, Gay Fesh says it was Kellyanne Conway. Yeah, I have a drama mama out there on Kellyanne Conway and the whole situation of her u using the police to help her fucking abuse her kid with me because like you know all the, all throughout the years i've had these sh shitty connections that i had to sever you know jimmy Dore, h.a goodman from the very start of my career as a youtube commentator it, it, so it's just part of the process but like you it's it is so difficult to differentiate good faith from bad faith criticism and i think that's why a lot of creators end up becoming really hard-headed and doubling down but like we're not those types of creators we actually do absorb criticism even if it is difficult sometimes even if i, I admittedly felt cognitive dissonance but we're trying to learn and grow and just going forward you know we um oh yeah and being we'll accountable like we 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 need to normalize this idea like i i am i am so for especially people with large platforms you know coming out being like i was wrong or i fucked up mm -hmm. or hey by the way i i also deeply believe in restorative justice so it's like anything else i think like this idea of hey on the one end uh you have been like credibly accused of something versus now keep this in mind as well what lance is saying here both Mike and Lance have brought up the uh, need to take responsibility when you're wrong. And we have not yet watched, uh, we have not yet dove into what Illuminati said today. Um, we have not dived into Illuminati's response yet, but uh, we're going to, which came out today. So also just for clarity for everyone who's trying to keep track of the timeline here, the reason why we're watching this first and we're doing Illuminati's response second is because Illuminati posted her response this morning and that's after this video. So we're keeping everything in the correct order of occurrence. Well, why does the public like response have to be so calculated uh, and then meticulous mm -hmm. and then start this entirely new like drama cycle and all that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, it's, it's and, one of those situations where Sense. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I and that's the thing. Like I said, on one end, I feel a little bit like, damn, like, you know, I knew it didn't make sense. And there were certain conversations we were having like that. So I'm like, wait, what? You know, I kept insisting, like, I don't feel like this is the route. Why do you why are you so insistent on this route? But I get it. It's consistent with this larger vengeful Cersei Lannister shit. And like I said, if, if I'd been paying more attention from the beginning, I think we would have probably put a stop to. I didn't realize that they would ever, even if they thought like the legal legal thing, I didn't realize that like not jumping in and stopping them from thinking that would lead them to go on a Twitter thread and do all that stuff. Like, cause there are lots of things that happen or you think things or you talk about other people or content creators amongst other people, but you don't go and make a Twitter thread. Like, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't think like not jumping in and being like, hey, this absolutely doesn't appear to be plagiarism. I swear to God, it doesn't seem to be. Um, needed to happen in order to stop a Twitter thread, you know what I mean? And then by the time Lance was telling me like, hey, big Illuminati drama's happening in my mind. Oh, another thing real quick to commentate on this, on the legal eagle situation. One of the things that Blair did that was really dirty, that was very, very hard to spot, even to people who were being very skeptical, um, which I pointed out, is that uh, the email that she showed you would actually have to blow up the email and look at the attachments to tell. Um, but the email that she showed wasn't even the same effect that she was accusing uh, Legal Eagle's team of stealing. So that was something that that uh, fooled a lot of people, and that I don't really I don't really blame a lot of people for getting fooled by that. It also, but it also just speaks to the level of dishonesty that Blair was engaging in in that situation. That like she went so far as to like she was so brazen that she posted the evidence, like evidence that didn't even correspond to the narrative she was building, because she knows that evidence often makes people just the presence of evidence, whether the evidence says what you say it says or not, is enough to make a lot of people just sort of side with their their favorite content creator. It was wild that she went that far to do that. Yeah, if you go and look at it, um, I actually, I in my original Drama Mama on this topic, I showed this on the screen. The email that she shows is a NFL, um, like a NFL text effect, but the one that she was accusing them of stealing was a totally different highlighter and ripped paper effect. It was really, really dirty, very, very sneaky sleight of hand. Um, honestly, 
the behavior of a practiced liar, in my opinion. Um, yeah. What did Legal Eagle ever do to her anyway? Nothing. She just wanted, I don't know. I don't understand it. Little Joel also saw that? Yeah, he did. Um, well, again, Little Joel is a very practiced skeptic. Little Joel's entire thing is like, I've <laughs> been digging into little details like that. Um, the average person looking at that is not going to catch that obviously and i don't blame them for that most people don't have the time to like dig that deep anyway let's continue in my mind she said somebody copied a style in a video mm -hmm. however serious could the drama and the fallout from this be? <laughs> I said, I to, that's what i'm thinking and so then you know i hear i'm like the way the way it was presented to me was like there was this just pre-existing drama with a few people that you're like friends mm -hmm. with needed to dress and that's what i thought was happening i thought they were doing all these other horrific horrible things and like if i had seen their videos if i'd seen their things her video would have seen nuts to me from the jump because i would have realized she's not even saying shit in it for real other than just despair nothing that they said was ever addressed or blah 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 and like i said you know i've been very i was i was nice to blair um behind the scenes about all of this and i probably i wouldn't have gone and cussed out but i would have told her hey Nigga, you seem dead wrong. Guilty, so you should apologize. Like I would have said that. You know what I mean? I would, you should do that, my guy. You should like mm -hmm. address that and and take that route. But I didn't know anything about it to address from that level. I could only go based on the information I had, and I didn't know that. Like again, I didn't know I was in the Game of Thrones like that. I'm sorry. So that's well, and to be fair to you, Ole, like since the beginning of our show, when we announced our show, you were presented with a bunch of like dirt on us. Oh well, did you hear about the humanist support and rational <laughs> national? They're fake. <laughs> They're lips, lips. Fake uh, the shit they're lips. shit limbs. All of them are you shit have limbs. To navigate that <laughs> from the lips. very beginning. Well, people, <laughs> people hate the fuck out of us. So yeah. and you didn't, you didn't have any context because you were in a different internet space than we were. So and like, it's, it's been crazy. constant. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what I thought. It's like from the minute we announced the show, which to me is like this is just supposed to be a pleasant, fun time, you know, blend these different, you know, areas of the leftist spectrum of platforms and stuff. It was always negativity and people being like, I can't believe Olay is with such and such. I can't believe Olay is with this one. I can't she sold Olay out fast. Yeah. I, remember. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think, sold out. I think Olay's taking. I think Olay's taking the wrong message here. I think she's got to get on YouTube and search up David Dole controversy explained. <laughs> the real dirt on Mike Figueredo. <laughs> Uh, everything you need to know about the Lance drama. I mean, that's that's the the stuff's out there. We got to You got to dig in now. Yeah, I just was like, I, I honestly it was time just, to do your due diligence. I just was Have like, you heard oh. what I said about Tulsi Gabbard in 2020? <laughs> Listen, like you change, I, man. I, you change, man. In my mind, I've always tried to. To some level, I treat everything that I do like these are projects, and mm -hmm. they are not like I treat my own platform like Illuminati, my shit. And I heard somebody in the chat be like, "Oh, Lay modeled her name after I." You might be new to me, but like Illuminati is the name of my sub stack and my stuff that I've had for years. And okay, yeah, that is the funny. I have actually seen. Uh, I I have actually seen. Um, <laughs> I have actually seen commenters try to imply that Olay got her name from Illuminati, which, which, which is just so stupid. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, the, the concept of the Illuminati was, like, originally invented in, like, the late 1800s, I think? Illuminati. The original Illuminati. No, oh, sorry. It referred, it was originally 1776 was when the Illuminati Secret Society was founded. Fucking, I was wrong. It was the 1700s, the late 1700s. That name's been around forever. Come on. Been my brand before I knew Blair existed. So respectfully, mm -hmm. nah, she didn't come up, and she didn't come up with Illuminati. I know you know that. <laughs> um, uh, right? so, you. you know, I'm like, but I treat my own platform as something I have to be responsible for. There's a reason why I don't like stream leftist mafia. That is my show. Like, you know, obviously this is all of our show and I feel that or whatever, but it's not my, the way my show, I consider that where I'm responsible for. That's why I have a pre-written show. I don't live stream. I don't do those things. I like to create a little like universe that I could be responsible with right. for on the four walls. And oh, I try to not take this on. Olay does this show on the DL. She doesn't want her audience yeah, to know that she does. <laughs> <laughs> on the slide? Yeah, <laughs> You're ashamed of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically though, I was like, that was basically no, no shit to, to be fully candid with y'all. Lance came to be about this, like, this is bad. This is affecting all of us. I was like, oh, I, 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 I. 
Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. My audience. My audience. Think about this. I literally thought I was like, I'm oh, feeling a little siloed from the problem lads. Um, so I, well, I'm it's sorry, one, it's one of those things where it's like the, the more the more you uh, like everyone kept saying that and correctly by the way uh, like. Go watch this video. Go watch this video. My Reddit was like flooded with a whole bunch of things where it's like, please watch this. Please watch this. And yeah, it does take a long time. Dan, they should have sent my video. They should have sent my video. Maybe that maybe some. Well, obviously, some of the leftist mafia, mafia watched my video, which is great. It's one of the reasons why I think everyone here wanted to wait obviously to like you know give give a, a very fair opportunity to Blair I like I, I don't have any personal like super negative experiences at all uh, having worked with her so allowing uh, okay, enough time to go by for her to either make a statement or, or, or come back uh, or whatever it's gonna be right um, oh, I think like there was a pretty long grace period uh, in between that and then yeah here we are yeah. I mean, we should, you know, we uh, to be completely open and honest, like, you know, we we uh, land, we had that discussion. Lance told her what we were thinking, and and she accepted the news. She was the one who, you know, did. Uh, I, th I think she was the original like Discord creator of the Leftist Mafia Discord. She handed that over, no problem. We had no issue personally. Ooh, that's the good. five of us with her even when the split happened so you know mm. we can't i would say be very cautious if you have shared moderators with illuminati in your discord not saying to like get all like stalin level paranoid however uh as the click showed uh 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 illuminati has been very willing to strong arm her mutual moderators into leaking information and disseminating misinformation. So be very careful about that. We can't add to there'll be no like the drama between leftist mafia and Illuminati explained videos because it was it was a fine split no. just to be completely open and mm -hmm. honest with everybody yeah. and transparent yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, she never did anything um to us. I mean other than I mean I mean lots of, I mean other than lying. Yeah, it, it was it was one of those breakups where it's like it's you, not me. You know. I just feel so. a little bit like I, like I will say I was talking to my friend about this in the park on the weekend, right? Because I was really explaining the magnitude. Because you again, I, I had to change my flight from Puerto Rico to come back for this. Um, <laughs> That's how serious <laughs> that she yes. said this, that we're all taking yes. this. Because even still, people are still not pleased. You know, like I'm reading mm -hmm. the chat and I'm like, bro, I'm sort of God. I'm taking this serious as I could. Like I delayed all my shit this weekend. We spent so much time on this. Like they be. David has a child. Binder has a child. They had to go get. Yeah. They, to go to the they have families. Talk, watch <laughs> right. video. Let's have weekend um, meetings yeah. where we discuss, like, watch hours and hours of this video. You got to catch up. Really, my parents were coming over. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to. Oh, I just want to point out that as I said, we're, there won't be any like explaining the Illuminati yeah, issue. <laughs> as I said that, as I said that, I'm looking at each of your titles, and Mike Figueredo has the most live stream viewers and that's because he titled this episode addressing no the way. Illuminati situation. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, feel like, uh, I didn't check no, ironically it, it, that's a wise move from Mike. Seriously, a genuinely wise move. Uh if you're going to address a situation like this, you want to get as many eyes on it as possible. Um always, especially if it's a, a situation this sensitive. So, wise move there. But usually, usually, yeah, 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 usually like, David oh, Dole, wow. usually David Dole has the most, and I'm right. usually shocked that me and Mike are, are close in number because he has so many more subscribers. To be fair, I usually live stream. He usually uploads videos, so that could be the discrepancy there. But I'm looking over at Mike's video, and I'm like, holy shit, he's almost got a thousand viewers. And Hell it's because yeah. he's the only one of us who Hell put yeah. addressing the Get Illuminati it. situation Get in it. Listen, after weeks of people in the, the chat and saying, hey, you need to talk about this, like, I want it to be clear, we're fucking talking about it. Yeah. Finally, yeah. please yeah. understand this is what's happening. Yeah, so back to my, what I was saying, and I, I was talking to my friend in the park and I was like, you know, as a defense attorney, I don't, if my client's guilty, that's not a problem. I'm going to represent them in the same yeah. way. So back to my, they have to well, tell me though, because that changes I, I, how I represent them. You know what I mean? Because if your client is, you can't go up in court talking about, whoo, my client is in. Olay says, 
in YouTube chat, I did actually change my flight. I didn't want the audience to think I didn't care or wasn't in total agreement with the decision to remove Blair, and I wanted to own that the fans were right. Well, credit to you for doing that. I think that was a good move. I think it was a wise move for yourself, for the show, and for your audience, and just generally respectable in general. Uh, good move. And I, I imagine your audience does appreciate that. I, I get the feeling that the audience that the leftist mafia has... Uh, has a, a, has uh, accrued has has ge has generated is uh, actually cares about this stuff quite a lot, which is a good thing. Innocent, my client is a wrong man, and they have a video of your client doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I think what was boggling for me was the magnitude of innocence that had been being you know pled. Like if it had just been like, hey, I'm Cersei, I I'm I'm Cersei. And people who fuck with me, they get Cersei. You know what I mean? Like, I a, then I would have known that's what's happening. But but people were bleeding a whole lot of innocence. And I've never, I told Lance, I was like, bro, I've never seen so much discovery in my life. <laughs> like, I've never seen so many. Like, I went to Lance, like, listen to me, Lance. Listen, 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 Lance. There are receipts. Like, <laughs> there are lots and lots of receipts. So I'm just like, I just hate that I'm like, you, you know, you put me, I would have, like, at least tell us, my God, like, it could let us know that this meteor was heading our fucking way, you know, I just did it, it wasn't presented to us at any point, like, hey, this shit is some shit that's so serious, it's going to be imputed to y'all, this is not just and, and again, I gotta be a little harsh on Lance here, I say this with as much love as possible, but Lance kind of did a disservice to the rest of the team here by going so hard in defending Blair, um, I do think it was a big mistake. Um, on Lance's part, even though I think my personal belief is that it was a mistake that, uh, that again, I truly do believe that Lance, uh, was just sort of had a compromise in judgment and trusted his friend, um, uh, in a knee jerk way. Um, but, but I do think that it was, it, it, it caused a lot of problems. It caused a lot of problems for him. It caused a lot of problems um, it, it, and it did a disservice to the people who were harmed by Blair as well. Um, I just think it, it needs to be said, even though I don't think that he did so out of malice. That's, that's my belief. Dual drama I have going on or whatever. I wish I just, I would have liked a fucking heads up. You know what I mean? But... I mean, we were all weekend, like, we were sending each other resources. Me and LA were going back and forth, like, did you hear about this shit? And she's like, no, I saw this video. And she sent me, and I'm like, no, I watched that one too. Like, this is so, like, it's, you were, you so were so much, caught it's up. genuinely overwhelming. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Um, you know, that's, I spent like the entire weekend watching this and getting educated because you all said it was serious, and holy fuck, you were, you were, you, you weren't wrong and it's not and it, and it is an overwhelming situation again uh <laughs> you guys remember how i talked about my drama mama on this which was you know i i was sort of jokingly framing it as a a brutal mountain hike because that's what it i mean this was a lot i watched these videos as they came out and it is it, there was so much there was so much deceit going on there was so many receipts there was so many claims being made and blair's first video uh made so many allegations right out the gate um that that it was just like oh this is destined to be an absolute mess and it was and i i don't blame a lot of people for getting lost in that part of it because there was just a absolute fuckload of shit to be, uh, you know, to be perfect, to, to, to word it in a professional manner. Like I, I did do some research beforehand, but not as extensive as I did last weekend to where I was like genuinely like getting caught up watching the actual videos, not just the recaps. And yeah, it's, it was mind blowing. It was really- I'm pulling my, uh, my audience right now in chat. Uh, Cause I, I'm, I'm just curious. I asked, did you know about the Illuminati drama before we addressed it just now? Yeah, so far, I, yes oh. is winning sixty percent to forty percent. So, because yeah. I was just curious, because like, I'm curious it, it's, too. This is something that, if you're a casual watcher, if you, if you don't like read the chat, you, you just like watch. You know, one of us. You don't know who. You don't know that side of the internet where you know Illuminati is. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you know about <laughs> what the hell's going on unless you're reading the chat and really engaged in you know uh, her content? So, um, yeah. but it appears that a lot of people were aware. So. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Honestly, you know, I see there are people in the chat frustrated that we're talking about this, but honestly, we're in trouble already for not talking about it already. You know, we don't have a choice. We have to address it. We, 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 we have to be open happy and honest. regardless of what we're doing. I, yeah. I, agree with that. I, I feel like yeah. honest to, to, like I said at the beginning, addressing it was the only move. Uh, it was the only move here. Addressing it and parting ways with Illuminati is the only rational move here. There was no other real path forward. Um, and that's 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 good that they decided to make the rational one because not to not to spo not to spoil but we might see some responses in a, we might see a response in a little bit that is not the correct response is the best policy so this is something that we're addressing and then we're going to move on with the show but you yeah, know we have to which which by the way i'm sure maybe soon we can move on but um yeah uh, i do want to get to at some point uh, Trump's reaction to Ron DeSantis announcing because I, I watched one video funny. and I just I just laughed my ass off and there's like mm -hmm. four videos so I want to see right. what else he said. What was really uh, shocking to me was that you know I listened to that Ron DeSantis space and he didn't address the Illuminati situation once. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Deafening on that. Cannot believe it. Um, speaking of, I watched some guy. Listen, everybody, really I know that I'm a winner. But the know who's not a winner, Illuminati. Illuminati, now that's just a situation I cannot stand by. Meatball Ron will never stand by Illuminati. I'm sorry, that's just not okay. It is not good. It's no good. I gotta say, thank you, Elon Musk, for having me on today so I could denounce Illuminati once and for all. Uh, go cover our reaction to it talking shit mm. and they were like um any comments on like when because when i when i jump in and i'm like oh i don't know and i don't know nothing about this and mike is like because i was like i don't know where and mike was like like oh i didn't even know ben shapiro and this person and he's like oh how are you gonna be a little commentator and i'm like nigga you don't watch this show you show it up you literally admit you're only here because of the seriousness that is fucking Illuminati. Give me a fucking break, you self-righteous bitch. Because my, because I'm like Ben Shapiro's not the staple of my political fucking focus. Like I, I, I'm I, sorry that you have to apologize for having a life, Ole. Okay, not knowing Ben Shapiro. How dare you? I was like, they were like, I, I was like, oh my god, this chat is. I was like, this is this is way worse than David Dole's chat ever could be. I ran over to Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lay Duncan on the chat now. Don't lay Duncan on David Which, Dole's chat. My now. chat loves you, but I don't know. They're gonna start turning at this point. I... <laughs> no, I love. Uh, hey, uh, only only people... one, only one of the people in this room. Only one of our chats made a beautiful emote of Ole oh, in animated <laughs> Dragon Ball form. Yes, that's only right. one, only one. And uh, that's called yeah. simping. All right, all right, Matt, mm -hmm. simping over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's absolute facts. All right, so um, I see there are people in our chat that somehow feel like we haven't. I felt like we apologize. Like I, I like a million. Oh my god! Are you first thing to do? Okay, they they got to be effing around cool. at this point, right? <laughs> like, yeah, are, okay. yeah, we we. <laughs> We did we're, our best. We're 45 I, I, minutes into this podcast. This is all we talked about. Yeah, and I told you oh I did research. I changed a flight. I came here admit <laughs> making a whole announcement apology. Like I, I don't know what else I could do. I didn't. We have to finish it off it with wrong. a blood I, sacrifice. I said I had it wrong. Okay, I didn't. Or I, I didn't fucking know. All right, I, I, I all right. The very least, because I didn't have a position for real. I just didn't fucking know. I'm like y'all had it right. Okay, got you. I told you. Yeah, there you go. You had it right. None of none of us are prepared for like being a like public personality. It just happens. So like we're we're not PR or media trained. Like we just we're human beings and we kind of roll with the punches and we just, you know, sometimes you take an L, you eat shit, you apologize, you move on. That's part of the game. So we're addressing it, we're severing ties, and going forward, you know, we're Good we're job. not gonna be a part of that Good shit. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. Yeah, and I deleting oh I well, I just, I, I, I want to add. Want. I'm just going to say the crime okay. of deleting YouTube videos was nuts. I don't know if y'all mm. saw that, of logging yep. into Old Boy's channel and deleting oh, yeah. videos. That right there, I was oh, like. Oh, yes. Yeah. I would have oh, been out yeah. of luck. This is, um, what, what Ole is talking about here is a separate situation, um, which is the one that I mentioned earlier on, but I don't think we're going to really cover it really, but I'll, I'll, I guess I'll mention it. Um, Illuminati, uh, in a previous conflict with another content creator, uh, actually used her access 
to um, their shared to the, to his YouTube channel. He owned the YouTube channel, but he had given Illuminati access to the channel as like an editor or as a co-creator. And Illuminati went in and deleted, uh, which is permanent, by the way. YouTube cannot restore videos once they've been deleted. Went in and deleted a a, a ton of videos um, over. I don't even know. Um, she got mad at him because he made a joke or something. He made a joke that she felt was off off color. I think he made like a fat joke or something. Not about her, about some random other content creator. Um, and then she just went in and deleted a ton of his videos, which is devastating, by the way, um, uh, to to any channel to lose videos that you made that you did a lot of work on. Um, you can that that also damages the channel because it um, deleted videos lose their view counts. It removes the view counts from your to your channel total. So that did permanent damage to that person's channel, and she did it without even talking to him. And she actually sent. Um, there is uh, proof of her actually sending an, a, a pseudo-anonymous uh, Twitch donation that basically said, uh, yeah, good luck, you're fucked. It's, I, I, that's not literally what it said. It said something along those lines as an anonymous, uh, anonymous account that said, like, um, the name of the account was, like, content creator name sucks, and then it said, like, good luck, you're screwed. And then somebody later revealed um, that that it was her who sent that. She, like, sent a video of her sending that, th that like, veiled threat uh, to this person in private. It was, it was a genuinely messed up situation. Now, this is a few years old drama at this point. Um, and I'm not going to get into that one. We're not going to do a deep dive on that. But that's what Alay is referencing here. It is uh, very fucked up. Um, so yeah. All right. And yeah, I, I just want to also add that like um I think everyone here takes uh the, the responsibility of very seriously. I totally agree with every single person who's like you have platforms, uh you know, what you say and do uh is important and matters, and like I, I completely accept that. Uh in addition to that, um I don't think anyone here uh, was intentionally in any way trying to ignore anyone's like, you know, comments or criticisms or all that kind of stuff. I think everyone was basically trying to take in as much information as possible, wait to make an appropriate response and give a, a large window of kind of like, you know, good faith uh, in the opposite direction, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, if I were in a position where I was undergoing drama, I would hope that everyone here would give me like some time to prepare receipts and respond to it and not just like jump the gun so we we're trying to be courteous of somebody who was a colleague you know so hopefully you all can understand that yeah it's uncomfortable it's an uncomfortable situation it just it sucks all around like you know we had to take shit because we were you know associated with blair but uh hopefully you can understand that like you know we we're not we weren't afraid to call it out or condemn it. It was never about that, you know, so just- I, Yeah, we just didn't understand the magnitude of what there was to condemn. <clears throat> you know right. I mean? Yeah, so yeah, we got y'all, we got y'all. Like I said, we appreciate the audience. I, I wanted to start, I, I we acknowledge, we love our audience. The ones who have been watching the whole time, not y'all new niggas who just came in here to give us fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't care about those people I, at right. all. The ones that I came in, so. hey, I'm just here <laughs> for the Illuminati drama. How dare you not denounce her? Like, That's what the? So crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they literally like, this is my first time ever watching, but you owe us a sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> all the regular viewers are like, move on. Why the fuck are you still talking about this? We're like, oh, person? I'm like, is that your position? You should be here, okay? What the hell? Let me just Olay person leave. You don't watch this show. Right. Like, fuck you. See how right? we get gaslit, regular audience, by <laughs> non-audience members? And listen, uh, one last thing before we end this, just to show you how committed we are to, you know, uh, not associating with terrible people. We are, this is the last episode with Matt Binder. We've all agreed to let <laughs> <laughs> Finally, finally. Oh, it's so no, freeing. It's so freeing to say we that. We love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Binder, no, no, I do think it's really, really funny. Binder acknowledged when Lance, Milan spoke to Blair for us, but for a second we were like, you saw Blair, Binder spoke for the court tonight. For a second we were like, I mean, Binder, you could do it. Binder was like, yeah, yeah. I it's it's Bind over. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh.
be fine to address the audience, but I think I've never talked to. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I've never talked. How weird would it have been if my first conversation with her in private was like, no hey. kidding, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Lance, Lance got us in this mess. It's Lance to get us out. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is true that Lance did get them in this mess. Like, there's just no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Lance, Lance was the one who recruited Blair, and Lance is also the one who defended Blair. Oof. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> no, I saw. I was like, I um, I saw some some kids' video. It didn't have oh, movies, no um on it. It was, but it was like a video about like fuck me and lads, like our face on it. And I was like, <laughs> look at look look at what look at what has happened. Like, look at my face on videos I did not make. <laughs> when you if you search for your channel name on YouTube, it's a horrifying experience Bro. after you get past your own oh, channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's oh. horrible. No, it's, it's not it's not healthy it's not healthy at all <laughs> okay okay guys that is so true uh do you guys do, how many of you are here remember when i did when i name searched my own channel on youtube and discovered that there was a uh there was like a like a washout uh commentary channel that had done like 15 videos on me and i didn't even know <laughs> does anybody re some of you were here for that some of you were definitely here for that that was a long time ago but that was one of the funniest experiences i ever had was just name searching and finding out that some channel had like seethingly was just like ah, 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 they were like mad just making vi like 50 i'm talking like literally like i don't know if it was literally 15 it was like more than five probably more than eight videos that were like demon mama's the stupidest bitch ever stupid idiot moron demon mama blah, 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 blah. it was so fun i was just dying it was so fucking funny Oh. People you, know, you, you know whether or not they like you or dislike you based on the picture they choose to make the thumbnail. Like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Here, Wasn't it a 10 viewer, Andy? No. Unfortunately, this channel is like, uh, they actually have like a fairly large amount of, I mean, fairly. They have a decent amount of followers. They just, they've just been like sort of stagnating forever. It's some alt right channel. Respectful bitch ass. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, to be hey, fair, hey. I do the same thing though. When I when I make videos about right wing ghouls, I'm like, get that perfect freeze frame where like one of yeah. the eyes is half closed and they look like super silly. Yeah. I, See, I don't even that don't even be my brand of disrespect on the thumbnail. I spend my entire episode disrespecting them. <laughs> but like, <laughs> the content speaks for itself. Practice, <laughs> you don't need to be petty. I'm petty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do that too. Oh also. yeah, and the time that I I had uh, also the time that that Minecraft YouTuber made a video about me, but I found out about that one. Someone sent that one to me. This Minecraft YouTuber got super triggered at me. We actually ended up having a debate. That one was funny. We'll talk about <laughs> Trump and DeSantis, and I'm gonna. <laughs> smoke. Yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like we uh, we've addressed that. And we can all move on with our lives. Пошли, все вместе. Какие ваши доказательства? They want you to comply. Cancel culture. It's about cancel culture. How did I trigger? Uh, how did I trigger uh, a Minecraft YouTuber? I triggered a Minecraft YouTuber because um. What was he mad about? Oh, he was mad that I was mad. Oh, it's actually really funny. Um, he was mad that I correctly criticized um, Anna Kasparian on her dog shit take, which is funny because, interestingly, Anna Kasparian was having a fucking meltdown about Olay, who was just in the video that we were just watching. Um, yeah. <laughs> which was... Uh, all right, everybody. It's time. Let me give you my thoughts on the leftist mafia response. Honestly, I think that they were very wise to respond now instead of waiting. I think that they were good to be up front with the fact that they didn't take it seriously enough early on. Um, as I mentioned early on in this video, I did see their original response and I do feel like they went, uh, they laughed it off a little too much in their initial response. However, I can't be all that hard on them because they weren't really, that wasn't like an official response and they did conclude that they were going to look deeper into it 
and then they did look deeper into it. So while I think the initial response probably indicated um, a little bit too much uh, frivolity with the seriousness of the accusations, I also don't think it was that bad. It was like that big of a fuck up with one exception, which is of course, Lance. Um, Lance really goofed up in this situation and I'm glad that he owned up to it in this video. Um, it probably would behoove Lance on his own time to make a video apology going through where he was wrong and explicitly, you know, uh, uh, apologizing to, um, you know, Wonder and the Click, who he was very harsh to, and he was harsh to them. He accused them of ganging up on a woman for cynical reasons. He accused them of lying maliciously when neither of them lied. There's no evidence that either of them lied at all. Um, I do believe that it would be wise for Lance to make his own apology video, and I think that would I think that would not only increase my respect for Lance, it would increase his respect with his audience and it would make right what he did wrong. Um, Lance did a disservice to his team and he did a disservice to his audience and he did a disservice to the audience of the leftist mafia and he also did a disservice to the victims of Illuminati. Um, now, um, there were parts that I wish that they went a little bit harder in this video. My biggest criticism of the leftist mafia's response is that they didn't start the video by doing a summary of the allegations and the summary that they did did that they did do was very bare bones. I do think given that they did make the decision to part ways with Blair, opening the video with what the allegations were, why they were why they consider them to be factual and uh, and denouncing those actions would have been a much better move. Um, however, I respect that basically every single member, specifically um, Mike uh, Figueroa and Olay, um, both of them uh, specifically spoke up to uh, to acknowledge that they that they were correct, that the audience was correct, and that they could have done a better job being more skeptical uh, at, in the first in the you know, in the first pass. Um, and I, I think both of those, um, though I, I have most respect for Mike and a out of this situation. Um, I don't really personally, I don't think Matt Bender, David Dole, Olay, or, uh, Mike really have to do anything else in this situation. As far as I'm concerned, from my outsider's perspective, I think that their statements were enough here. Lance, however, I think owes his audience a proper apology video and not just deleting the video uh, that he did. Um, um, yeah, so all in all, uh, and not a perfect response, but uh, relatively good um, given that they basically, they parted ways with Blair, which was, the, which was a good and wise move. Uh, they acknowledged where they messed up, which is good and wise. The summary would have been very valuable to the audience and to the historical record. That's the other part I should be clear about. Um, it's valuable to the historical record, so to say, in these spaces to make a summary easily available at the beginning of the video, especially in a situation where there is so much misinformation going on because um, not addressing the lies that were put forward by Illuminati um, actually allows them to perpetuate. Um, not They're not like, they're not contributing to the lies, but it helps them perpetuate, um, which is part of the reason why in this video, I opened with a summary as well. Um, yeah, because uh, Illuminati has a huge advantage in pushing these lies right now. Illuminati has a huge platform, had the advantage of sort of jumping the gun and firing all of these allegations off at her former coworkers, and the record needs to be corrected. As somebody who has been uh, severely slandered by other larger creators, uh, having, um, content creators who uh, discover the truth, set the record straight in understandable ways is one of the only ways you can repair the damage that is done from a situation like that. So I do think, um, so I do think that would be, uh, uh, very valuable, um, personally. Um, anyway, um, I think that's basically all I have to say about the leftist mafia video.